All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to do something a little bit different. I actually saw this uh, effect on this wall. It's actually some building that actually has this crink crinkled uh, facade wall. So I just thought that it would be interesting to show you how you can actually model this kind of effect. And uh, it's actually uh, very easy because we'll use some external software. And I just wanted to show you the, the technique. So let's start. We're gonna actually do a couple of them, uh, a couple of different, uh, uh, we're gonna have different approaches. So, and then we're gonna test to see which element is the best. So I'm just gonna copy this. This is actually these plans. Uh, I'm going to have multiple, uh, multiple polygons with a different amount of uh, divisions. So let's put this one five by five and let's have one more that is even more say 10 by 10 10 by 10 and okay so what's the concept here first uh, we would uh, we would enter of this mode and what I wanted to show you is uh, the point is to have this manipulation done to like as drastic as possible so that you can actually see the effect later on so we're just gonna move these vertices in very random positions and we're gonna later uh, use some other software to actually do the triangulation for us. So the point is that this phase needs to be very random. So you just want to randomize the points in all different directions. And uh, you want you don't want to have like the perfect uh, the perfect uh, geometry. You just want to have everything kind of messed up. So. I'm just going to do this now randomly and then I'll show you the next. So now once we have this finished, we actually want to create uh, like, um, we want to extrude them and let's, let's cut them here. Let's split this. And once we have these guys, let's export one by one. Export selected and we want to use stl uh, file extension let's say one and let's go with the default settings and let's do the rest for the other ones as well and third one Okay, so once we have that, we want to actually use the program that is called Mesh Lab. You probably heard of heard of it. It's uh, it's a program that is uh, free to use. So so you want to import this mesh? Just drag and drop it here, and you will see that. Uh, our model is actually here in this program now and the option that we want to use to get the the triangulation is here filters remeshing simplification reconstruction and using 
quadric edge collapse decimation. And now we're gonna, uh, this is like the target number of faces. You can see here the original number of faces. So it's actually telling you, let's make this in half. So once you click apply, uh, it will calculate and create uh, like triangulation, but it's very small. So let's cut this to let's say 50,000. Let's see what happens. Uh, we still don't see uh, a lot of change. So let's go to 10,000, apply. And now you're starting to see something. So let's go to 2,000 and let's go to 500. So now you're starting to get something here and let's go to 250 and 100. So uh, this is the effect. Now uh, we're gonna close this and we're going to uh, do this for for this, the other two uh, the other two uh, models and then import them back in Rhino. But first we need to actually export this mesh and we can use it and rename it. Okay. Let's create a new document. Let's use the second mesh, the second model. Here it is. So the reason why I did a uh, different uh, density of the of the surfaces so that I, ha I can have better triangulation here. So let's, let's do the same option, apply. Okay, let's go to again 50,000. Let's go to 2000 and let's get 250 and there it is. It's starting to look something like from this image. So let's go one more time on 150 and let's go with this. So I'm going to export this mesh. Done. And let's, uh, let's do the last one. Uh, this one is the most complex one. So let's, let's see what happens. Let's go to 50,000. Let's go 2000 and let's go to 50. There you go. See the difference? So that's how you get this effect by experimenting with this. In this case, I might have gone too far, but if I went, for example, for uh, let's say 350, then it would be a different. Uh, different story. So let's just see what happens uh, if I do 350 or 400 and then I will actually export this back and uh, and then use it in Rhino as a surface that will be able to render. Okay, so this is the result. And let's export this mesh. So now let's go back for the model and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna import this back and let's see what happens. Just go to import file. Oh, millimeters, meters. Okay. So here is our mesh. Uh, and then let's go to use the second one, import, here it is. Uh, let's use the third one, 
get it here. All right. So you see how this uh, mesh looks like it's starting to like uh, has some gradient to it. So uh, we actually want to transform now this mesh from, from mesh to polysurface. And there's a very cool trick to do this. Uh, it's in here in the surface tools and sorry, mesh tools and just select this mesh and you press here poly surface from mesh right click and I have the poly surface you can delete this mesh and let's do this for both of these guys and now we have poly surfaces uh, let's move them to another layer let's say uh, a display color by layer so now you can see that they are this are they're um, they're actually polar surfaces and now we can use them later on to create different kind of effects so this is it uh, i hope that you found this useful and i'm just going to render this now and show you the, the result here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.